Hello, I'm Sally Harrower, creator of modern Scottish literary papers here in the National Library of Scotland. I'm Andrew Martin, I'm curator of literature and the arts in general collections at the National Library of Scotland. We're here today to talk a little about the works of Robert Louis Stevenson. Robert Louis Stevenson's birthday was the 13th of November and every year we celebrate RLS Day on the 13th of November. I think like, like many people, I mean I came to, to Stevenson as a child because I think um, many of us probably think of, of Stevenson as a, as a writer for children and perhaps mm, a writer for boys. little boys, <laughs> yes. So I think, you know, the, the sort of the big names like Treasure Island and Kidnapped, I would have first read in, in sort of, um, you know, children's editions and, oh. and, and those sort of things. And I think, I think those two books, Kidnapped and, and Treasure Island, are, st are sort of big boys' adventures. But um, I think they're rather more than that. I think, mm -hmm. I, think, I think with the passage of time, I think there's a lot to appreciate in Stevenson. I mean, he's a great teller of tales, mm -hmm. of course, to Sitala, as the Samoans um, called him. I would say that, that if you're looking for a Scottish adventure, then Kidnapped is probably <coughs> the great one to follow up. Um, again, it's a very fast-paced book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it, um, there are sort of famous set pieces like when when Davy Balfour goes to the House of Shores to visit oh, yes, his uncle, Ebenezer. yeah, mm -hmm. Uncle Ebenezer, um, and then in a very short time, you know, he, 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 he's on a boat and he's kidnapped, Sold into sleep exactly, <laughs> and then um, we get him shipwrecked, and then he's on the west coast of Scotland. And then he meets Alan Breck, mm -hmm. and the whole sort of story rolls on from there in the in the Scottish landscape. Um, and I think it, yeah, I think and that's in Scottish history too. You're, you're I think I, yeah, I, names you know or yeah. Anything. I think I think that's one of the great strengths mm -hmm. of Stevenson. Actually, I mean, he really did know. I mean, he was he was really immersed in Scottish history and tradition, mm -hmm. and the sea, and all of those come out. I think very convincingly. They're just great yarns. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think it is to do with them being great yarns. I think I think um, in those two particular novels, I think in Treasure Island and uh, and Kidnapped, he sets up two very good situations, and they sort mm -hmm. of roll away. Um, I think I think with Treasure Island, um, I think as we said before, it is the essential. It is the sort of the key sort of pirate gold yes. adventure story, isn't it? Yes, the pirate, presumably pirate stories did exist before Treasure Island, but there's just there's yeah, pieces so of eight and the parrot and all yeah, that. Uh -huh. the red hat did, yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the... Did he throw all that together? <laughs> well, ap apparently. I mean, he was very keen on that sort of story anyway. Yes, and of course, yeah, that's being really there in the dedication, isn't uh, it? As long as there are boys, yeah. people want stories like this. <laughs> Stevenson is still quite easy to read, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's in a sort of a, a shape that yes, is... Yes, he comes as a surprise somehow when I you think read so. Stevenson, yeah, isn't it? Because it's, it's, it's so. so modern, really, you know, it's modern Scottish literary papers, but it feels contemporary now, and probably always will, just because there's so much life in the language, I think. I think the readers will be rewarded, if you go mm -hmm. back to those books, because I think the, the, the sort of excitement um, that Stevenson is able to, to generate with his writing. It is very intriguing, I think. Um, I think anybody will be pulled into the story in Treasure Island. Oh, yes. You pulled into you. the story and kidnapped. <laughs> I mean, the adventure keeps on going. And, uh, well, Jekyll and Hyde, I mean, is such a fascinating um, idea. Uh, and I think it's a, a you know, I think that's a really good example of Stevenson's genius, actually. He had this really mm -hmm. good idea that has lived for, for well over a hundred years.